Hello, I'm Mike Fox. And I'm Jiaxing. We're now at Qinghe Station. It's the largest one along Beijing Zhangjiakou High Speed Railway. Mm, that's right. It has a size of 146,000 square meters and can handle 22,000 passenger trips per day. And as one of the departure stations for the 2022 uh, Winter Olympic Games, it's only 21 kilometers away from the center of Beijing, which is really convenient for people to commute here. So let's go have a look. Yeah, of course. We can also see a lot of elements that feature the Olympics here. Yeah, as we can see, it's got a curved shape roof which is reminiscent to a lot of traditional Chinese buildings and if we have a closer look it actually resembles seven skiing tracks which is a big important element of the Winter Olympics one of the the biggest sports in the games of course and the station is also equipped with numerous modern technologies like they've got AI body temperature taking and they've even got a smart garbage sorting system so we are heading to our first stop today, which is Ba Daling Great Wall Station. Mike, have you learned how to check in? Yep. As far as I'm aware, all you need now is your passport or your ID card and all your ticket information is stored with your number. So you just hand it over and off you go. Let's try it. Like the theme of this uh, train is smart because the lighting, temperature, and even the color of windows can be adjusted. And one more crucial feature the Wi Fi is available here. Yep, you can reach speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour in the space of seven minutes, all under an autopilot mode, which means it's driverless. And as we can see here, this very still cup of water means it's actually a very smooth journey. And this train is also very friendly to the disabled because it accommodates more rooms for wheelchairs than others. So, um, so much for so, so far as we already know that this train is equipped with some of the most advanced technologies. But don't forget, it's also one of China's oldest railways. Now let's take a look at a clip on how this legendary Xinjiang railway developed over the past centuries.